Eighty percent of the livestock of Syria died as a result of the drought and the impact of climate. This climate-related drought destroyed 60 percent of the farmland in Syria and drove a million and a half refugees into their cities. There were statements from the Syrian minister saying, we can't handle this, it's going to be a social explosion, and there was. And that contributed to the massive flow of refugees that have been destabilizing the European Union, that have been contributing to the rise of right-wing authoritarian political parties in Germany, in France, in Greece, in many parts of Europe. So there are all kinds of different ways in which we are affected. But the most significant is the impact on the flow of goods and services, food, people, all of that winds up creating unrest, insecurity, instability, and it becomes a haven, frankly, for extremists to be able to come in and grab people's minds and appeal to their fear. And that can be very, very, very dangerous. So there are many ways in which it can have a very profound impact, a negative impact. you will have the national security of a country affected directly by rising sea levels, which will affect, again, the movement of people. Our Navy, for instance, in Norfolk is already making plans for what it's gonna to have to do to be able to have its crew members come to a ship in a time of a flood or emergency because they'll be cut off from it where they currently dock. The fact is that national security is affected by climate change in many different ways.